Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael. This is my new John Deere S130 tractor, which I've added the 46 inch plow so I can push some snow. We've had a recent drop of snow where I live in Canada and it's a bit of a pain to do it manually. So this machine hopefully is gonna help me out a great deal. So first of all, let me tell you that I've never plowed with a ATV or a tractor before. So this is a new experience for me. And I've normally cleared snow with a shovel or a walk behind snow blower. When I bought the plow blade, it came in a big box as a kit, along with the weights on the back, as well as the mountain bracket to put them on. So there's three components. There's actually a fourth component that I didn't purchase, which is the tire chains. As I'm pushing so over a paved driveway, I didn't think that the chains would actually do any good and may even damage the surface. The assembly of the plow itself was a bit of a pain in the butt. The instructions weren't the best, but once you kind of figure out roughly what's going on, it wasn't too bad technically. It's just the instructions could have been better. The reason I chose the S130 tractor was because of the hydrostatic drive, so there are no gears, just to pedal for forward and backwards. It also has the electronically operated accessory clutch rather than the manual lever. If you have a lot of snow over rough terrain, this is a perfect example why this particular tractor might not be the best for you. The S130 tractor, it's a two wheel drive with an open differential at the back, so you will get some slippage. If you're pretty serious about using a lawn tractor to push snow, then you're probably better off going with a four wheel drive version. I'm also plowing a relatively small area. There's parking for about 10 vehicles on this part of the property. So a plow for me works just fine. But if I wanted to clear more snow over a large area, I'd probably go with a snowblower attachment. The blade is controlled by the lever on the left hand side. By pulling the lever back you can raise or lower the blade. There's also a grip handle that disengages the lock so you can pivot the blade from left to right or straight. Which is actually quite useful. It takes a couple of goes to get used to it but once you've got that muscle memory it's actually pretty quick and simple to operate. As you can see this is pretty fresh snow but it's getting towards probably about a foot, foot and a half in places and the tractor's doing well to actually push that out of the way. With heavier snow you may not get as good a result. For me this solution works well. I've got a nice tractor that I can use for cutting grass in the summer. I've got an attachment to collect all the leaves in the fall and now I can push snow in the winter. If I was going to upgrade any part of this setup I would probably go with the snow blower attachment rather than the snow plow or even both, depending on how your property is laid out. Well, that's my first impressions of the John Deere S130 tractor with the 46 inch plow and what a novice can achieve on his first try. I was quite happy with the results and the blade was set so the majority of the snow would melt off pretty quickly as soon as the sun came out with warmer weather. The tractor and plow save me several hours of manual labour and over the course of a Canadian winter that adds up significantly to a labour saving device. It was also pretty fun to do, let's not forget that aspect of it. So overall very happy with the solution, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.